13,000 years ago, Lake Iroquois drained through the Mohawk Valley. The Iro Mohawk River carried an enormous volume of water, perhaps one and a half million cubic feet per second, which is about the maximum ever measured in the Mississippi. Today, the flow is 10,300 cubic feet per second. The stupendous discharge resulted in cavitation and swirled boulders in the turbulent flow, causing them to drill potholes into the bedrock. In 1866, during construction at the New Harmony Mill in Cohoes, the bones of a young mastodon were found in a pothole at the falls. The bones are now a favorite exhibit at the New York State Museum. The potholes at Cohoes are not easily accessible, but those at Moss Island and Little Falls, 70 miles upstream, are. Hi, I'm Allison. This is Kay, Sue, and Johanna, and we're at Lock 17 on the Barge Canal Mohawk River, and we're going to be looking at some potholes on Moss Island today. I found some really cool ones down and down there. They're like like the bottom came out of them, but they're just these little rings that stick out of the rock. Wow. Alright, so oops. It flipped. It's just what is this? Ten feet? inches. Okay. This says 23. I can't tell whether it's at the bottom or not though. I think it's, it says 23 and then there's another couple feet up there, so maybe 25 altogether. Let's see, which part are you at? Oh, there you are. Wow. Look at that little ring. I can go all the way inside this. Johanna can fit too. Try that one. Oh, and look, you can even go in here. This is awesome. This is so cool. It's like a hello. <laughs> can you see him? All right, let's measure this one. So this one is 11 feet 3 inches. How high is it? Can somebody get well, to the top? We can yeah. probably find the rocks. Do you want to go up to the top, Yolanda? I can. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, why don't we start out at one side and then we can close the cross. Okay, ready? Alright, we're gonna measure this. 